sounds so crazy. Bro. Yeah, man. And I feel like I feel like I feel like niggas for the <laughs> this is the trip part. I feel like niggas for the most part are good naturally. Uh-huh. I feel like niggas are so good that they gullible. Black people. Black people. Okay. In comparison to everybody else. I feel like they gullible. Like so good and nice that they gullible. They got good hearts. Good hearts, right? Yeah. But the world have niggas caught up so much the niggas just start doing evil shit. You feel me? And the evil shit that they do is what holds them back from getting back on top. Does that make any sense to you? Definitely. You feel me? Or else niggas would escalate back to the top. But niggas can't. Niggas, niggas niggas end up from the the, the uh, opportunities we don't have. Niggas do evil shit. Nigga, yeah, niggas just just from the lack of opportunity and from bad information and following the wrong individuals around not, you, not picking up are. picking up not knowing who we are, picking up bad habits from niggas until you re- until you realize I picked up some bullshit bad habits from these niggas. Yeah. And you kind of snap out of it, but you done already kind of fucked yourself up. Yeah, we we didn't put the, picked up a lot of shit that these other races persuaded. Exactly, on us. bro. Exactly. I'm gonna give you one example. Um, independent black woman, right? Okay. You ain't never heard of no saying independent Asian woman, independent white woman, right? Independent Indian woman, right? It's like. They wanted to have two separate entities, like independent black woman and then, bro. Like, why, why you do you want to be an independent black woman so bad? Ain't no other race like that. Man, God made man and woman, so why right. do you want to be independent black woman so bad? That's that's not good. Right. <laughs> that's not. Right. That, that's us failing <laughs> as a race. You know, just little shit like that that you don't realize. Ain't no other. Race talking about are trying to be no independent nothing. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So that's shit that we picked up that they didn't persuade it on us. You know, they didn't took the fathers out the homes. I feel like sl- type of I shit. feel like slavery was so devastating to us that the niggas got demasculated so bad in front of a woman coming out of you know in slavery and coming out of it. That that's so deeply ingrained into niggas psyche that the black women just naturally uh, don't trust niggas as far as their ability to protect them and provide. You feel me? Mm. And then because um, we was getting fucked in front of our women by the white niggas. Yeah, a white dude coming to your house just taking your bitch, fucking her. You know how 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 and see. W- or what a lot of people don't know is that the shit that happened to your ancestors, the shit that happened to your great 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 grandfather, yeah, is still having an effect on you because it's in your DNA. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers can't comprehend that type of shit, but a lot of motherfuckers is mixed too. It's in they. Oh DNA. man, in that too. Their like, grandmothers got raped. You know, man. The, yeah, man. It's in they motherfucker DNA, huh? man. Man, sad to say, but yeah. it's, it's true. So I feel like even like with what we be doing on here, man, as far as like advocating for real nigga values and yeah, checking yeah. bitches and this and that is is really like a restoring, trying to restore the culture. <laughs> Yeah. The balance and what it's supposed to be, the masculinity and the femininity, really putting the shit back in order. Like, bitch, get in line. Yeah. You feel me? Like, this shit important. Follow the nigga. This podcast <laughs> is important. <laughs> you feel me? This podcast is important. Oh, God. And I, would bro. Tell, I would tell you from my own experience that you supposed to follow your man. But. These these men have to give these women something to follow. Right, so right, right. When you you to... are really a good nigga and you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. These women have no problem following, catering to you and treating you like a motherfucking king 
And I see this with my own motherfucking life. Hey, man. I feel you. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. So we got to do better as giving these women something to follow. Right. Straight up. Right. That's why I'm an advocate for all this discipline and, and focus and being on your purpose. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and, and, and being of high moral integrity yeah, and all this old shit. You definitely. know what I'm saying? And then when a bitch don't want to get behind that, bitch, get the fuck on. Straight up. You got to be strong enough to be like, bitch, <laughs> if you, I ain't doing nothing wrong, bitch. Right. I'm doing everything right. Right. And you want to get out of, you want to be a fucking difficult, pro- bitch, get I the fuck on. You, you motherfucking you. enemy, bitch. You, you waiting to ambush me at the motherfucking crib, bitch. Straight up. I just came out from fighting all type of war with all these other motherfuckers. And the bitch is at the crib with the shank behind her back and, and, waiting for me and, and, and to drop important. my guard. That's important. When uh, A lot of women don't know what a man goes through when he leaves the house. So when he comes home after fighting the motherfucking world and he <laughs> has to fight you too. Man. That's, that's a no. Disheartening, that's fucked up good. ass shit. That man would never marry you. Especially when you trying to reach, you trying to recharge yourself and get straight, back right. focused to go back out straight, in this shit straight, tomorrow. Straight, straight up. I'm scrapping with the bitch. Straight up. The bitch don't want to listen. This mm-hmm. and that man, fuck that shit, bro. That's why niggas be looking older than what they really are. Big facts. You know what I mean? That's stress. Big that's, facts. That's shit real. Big facts. And then the bitch want to fuck too after she done put you through all that. Then she want to fuck. Right. And then if you don't, <laughs> you know, you might have, you might be going through something. You might be, uh, you know, my financial troubles. Uh, your daughter might be fucking up at school. Sometimes, you know, you, you're not all the way there to, to give a bitch what she needs. And for her to, instead of her being understanding now, you're not taking care of her needs. And now she's off to go fuck another nigga. <laughs> you know? You know, because motherfuckers, that's, it's, the, it's the poor thinking. Yeah. It's the poor thinking. You really got to you really gotta communicate and get in line with, with, your, with your partner. And the, the, the better a motherfucker communicating, the better the motherfucker talking and, and say what they going on with themselves and, and what's going on in their life, the better understanding and the better the relationship will be. Facts, though. But then on the flip side of that, man, niggas can't even be showing that much weakness, though. Like, Definitely it, can't. it can't be. Can't it, even be vulnerable. You, you, you got you to you gotta frame that in a way to where it ain't like, bitch, it's not like I'm crumbling down, bitch. Yeah. But this is happening. This, this is what's going on. <laughs> you feel me? I, trust bitches, me, I love you. I, I, yeah. I think the world of you. I'm attracted to you. But look, I'm going through something yeah, right now. Yeah, man. And it's so fucked up that man can't show this. Yeah, man, man. man it's, it's fucked up. It's weak, dog. It's weak. That's why I feel like you know, um, a nigga have to have uh, a nigga have to have damn near like multiple estates. You know what I'm saying? Where you could. You know, where you could go over here and get away from a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you, you you could leave. Yeah. You feel me? And go over here and be over here for a, a few days to, you know, to be in solitude, to refocus. Get yourself right. You know what I'm saying? Because a bitch won't let you refocus, man. Like, And I think that's to the detriment of niggas. And that's called a toxic relationship. Stay the fuck away <laughs> from that shit, dog. Your life will be much better if yeah. you stay the fuck away from tox. I want to move where should I put toxicity? Where what was I say? Just stay. <laughs> See, a lot of stuff. a lot of niggas be having man caves and shit. Yeah, they be having that's very house, important. And nigga have a man cave over here. Nigga just be in the man so, cave the it, whole it, time, it, 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 escaping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying the toxicness <laughs> in shit the bitch. Just, it should just be in the toxic in the house, and nigga be in the man cave like the whole time, never come out type yeah, shit. Yeah. Go to sleep in there. <laughs> be in there yeah, sleep. Man. You feel me? Nigga got a cover. In the blank, all that man. type shit, you know, the blow up in there, all that man. Man, shouldn't be like that. Nigga shouldn't be trying to, uh, you know, he shouldn't be trying to escape from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The problem hey, with nigga trying to escape. It depends on what the nigga want the man cave for. If the nigga want the man cave just for you know for the friends, they can watch the games and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if a nigga want a man cave 
to escape from you, then bitch, it's a problem. Hey man, I know a lot of niggas living like that, bro. I know I done been the sound. 